This is my final project for the San Jose State University. It is a dual camera capture system. There are two 1.3 megapixel cameras. These are connected to an FPGA board that is used to capture the images. The FPGA board is then connected up to an ARM board and the ARM board is the system-wide controller that is used for coordinating all of the communications in the whole system between the host PC and, and the uh, FPGA board. As I mentioned, the cameras are 1.3 megapixels. They're running at 25 megahertz and the transfer rate is basically 25 megabytes uh, per second continuous. So there's no way to capture that with the ARM board, and even if I did, there would be no way to store it on the ARM board. So I created a, a dual camera capture system in the FPGA. The FPGA has an interface, or contains a 16 megabyte uh, SRAM chip, and the burst rate on the SRAM chip is about 100 megabytes per second. So when the FPGA is commanded, it will capture the two 25 megabit, megabyte streams and store them simultaneously into the SRAM chip. This data is, is stored in the SRAM until the ARM board uh, it commands it you know, via the PC to retrieve the data. When it does that, the ARM board talks over an SPI uh, interface to the uh, FPGA and retrieves uh, each of the individual captured uh, pictures. The ARM board also is command and control of the system of the cameras. It uses an I2C bus and all the communication uh, for command and control is done over this bus. And because the cameras have the same I2C address and it was fixed and there was no way to change it, uh, there's a little I2C MUX chip that's in the uh, circuit. And uh, of course it is surface mount so I had to create a little uh, uh, surface mount to uh, board adapter to go with that. So that's pretty much the whole system there, and the next part of this I want to do is a little demo of how it works. I'm going to do the demo here. Uh, right now I've got the cameras are kind of on my desk and they're pointed up at my ceiling. Up at my ceiling I've got a little stamp uh, uh, swatch that I had uh, laying around to provide kind of a good picture uh, uh, for this thing to take. You come over to the PC. I bring up the program that I wrote that uh, allows me to uh, display each of the individual uh, pictures. So the very first thing I want to do is a low res demonstration. And I'm going to do the, uh, the low res first and then followed by the high res. Because of the interface between the ARM board and the PC is a serial port, it's like, um, it, the transfer rates are very, very slow compared to how much data is being transferred. So for the low res picture, that takes about 18 seconds to bring over one picture. I'm going to go ahead and get this going. So I connect up to the system, which connects to the arm. I send the command to take a picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and retrieve that picture right now. There's a counter on the, on the system that tells about how much of the data is being retrieved and how fast. In a few seconds here, we should see the first low-res picture. For the remaining uh, part of the demonstration, I'm actually going to pause between uh, the pictures. I don't think there's any reason anybody wants to sit and wait for the whole uh, transfer range. You can see uh, here's the low-res 320 by uh, 240 image that was captured by the cameras. You go ahead and take a second picture here, capture from the second. Uh, uh, the picture has been captured, and here's a display from the second camera. And we can see there is the picture from the second. So the cameras are slightly offset, and we can see that uh, one of the pictures is only capturing the corner of the other one. All right, so I have the button here. I'm going to change the resolution to 640 by 512. And take a picture, and now I'll start bringing over the data. Here's the first high-res image that came over. Now at the same time, we retrieve the second one. And there's the final second picture. There's so you can see we got uh, the data. 
going from the cameras, being snapshotted onto the FPGA and stored into RAM, and then when commanded, the ARM board retrieves those images from the FPGA RAM, sends them over the USB serial port over to the PC, where the PC can then display the images. And that's pretty much it.